It's incredible to play for Scotland. Every single time you run out on that pitch is just like a dream come true. Words can't actually explain it, but it's definitely the highlight of my life at the moment. Well, I grew up watching my father play. I was that little toddler at the sideline, running up and down, uh, trying to get involved in, in the scrums and running on the pitch. And, you know, I had to be kept well back because I wanted to be involved in it all. That was like my typical Saturday, which was the best kind of weekend. And when I got a bit older, I played now and again up north, but there wasn't really much for girls at that time. I went to a camp when I was about 16 in Oban, and I remember being asked the question of, put your hand up if you want to play for Scotland. And I never put my hand up. I was like, I'm this kid from up north. I've never played much rugby, and there's not much rugby where I'm from. And I always remember thinking, how amazing would that be? And you know, that was a moment for me where I'm like, well, why, why not? at the same time as that and that's when I really decided you know rugby is definitely something that I want to go as far as I possibly can in as well. Women's rugby is definitely rising and um, currently we've got 200 uh, talented athletes going through the PDP program and the pathway program and you know this is setting the high performance behaviours at, at an early age and I think a lot more people are becoming more involved in women's rugby and uh, within Scotland we want to double the amount of players playing so I think it's definitely on the right route. Currently we've got 13 players within the women's squad um, playing in the Six Nations that are involved in the academies and we've got 15 women overall in the academies and um, stage two is fantastic, stage two you get um, the resources for S&C, nutrition, you know, skills coaches um, and it's not a paid contract but the development and the resources that you get is absolutely fantastic and you know you can see the difference that this is making to the players on the pitch as well as off the pitch and then within stage three um, I got my contract in June. I got taken into the office and everyone was there and it was, it was pretty daunting. I was like, right, maybe, maybe I'm in trouble. And they were just saying how the stage two contracts were coming to an end and that they were really, really happy with um, me as an athlete and that they wanted to um, progress me onto a stage three contract. Jade's great. Um, she's that big ball carrier that we can always rely on. Um, obviously, it's great for her being stage three. It gives everyone to, like, something to look forward to and work towards. My typical week would look at four SNC lifting sessions, um, three conditioning sessions, two speed sessions, and then various skills sessions throughout the week. Um, this is all the physical parts of it. This, and then on top of that, you've got your days for analysis. You've got your learning days. Um, you can go through some coaching, some, you know, like lots of different things that you can build up to improve you as a rugby player. A massive part of that is also the recovery part of it uh, within the week as well because you've got that time to you know, go and do an extra pool recovery session or mobility or stuff with a physiotherapist to go through your rehab and your prehab and stuff like that. When Jade first came in we were excited about it because she's got a lot of potential and she's relatively untapped in the sense that she's not done much training so Potential wise, we don't know where she's at. She's got lots of potential. If you compare her to how much she's improved to the other guys, she's improved exponentially and she keeps getting better. So there's not, I can't really say there's a ceiling on how good you can get physically. It shows you what can be achieved if you get exposure to strength conditioning from a young age. You see the rapid improvements that Jade has made since she's come into the program. Uh, it's far exceeded my expectations. I get lots of messages from kids being like, I get told not to play rugby and all this kind of stuff. And you know, you just have to be confident and follow what you want to do. Um, I think it's really important to you know, follow your passions and you know, ignore the people that you know, are none the wiser or educate them so then you know, they can carry on and educate others as well. Rugby to me means absolutely everything. It's something that I want to dedicate as much of my time as possible to um, and it's one of my biggest passions in life.